saw something this morning that kind of set me off. I'm using the uh, optical, or no, the uh, digital image stabilization on this video because I'm walking. The first time I filmed it, it was all... So hopefully this is better without too much blur. California is a weird state. And I don't know, maybe 10 years ago or so, they passed this new law, Prop 65, which requires a warning label on pretty much every product out there. I saw this today on the warning. Entering this building can expose you to chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive harm, including formaldehyde and I'm not going to try to pronounce those from consumer product packaging. Now, when they first passed Prop 65, it sounded like a great idea. Put warning labels on dangerous products. Except as it turns out, it's a huge scam. Written into the wording, there's no requirement for the product to actually be dangerous. All they have to do is suspect that it can cause cancer and suddenly it requires a Prop 65. Did I say 64 earlier? That's the weed law and I'm not real happy about it either. They call it legalization and it's actually more of a new prohibition designed to extort the taxpayers and the consumer, but that's a whole nother rant. Um, Prop 64 simply states that any product that they think might cause cancer must now have that label. Brand new cars have to have that label. Apparently when you enter a Walmart store, or probably any store now, I've never seen it on a store before until today, or noticed, but apparently you're going to need a label for that too. This is the town of Yucca Valley, if you're kind of curious where I'm at. It's at the north entrance of Joshua Tree. Um, one way that you know Prop 64 is a huge scam, earlier this year, somebody said, well, you know what, we think coffee is causing cancer. We can't prove it, but we think so. And that right there meets the requirements that it now needs a warning label. However, Starbucks lobbied California's politicians, spent I don't know how many millions of dollars to buy their way out of having to put that label on coffee. And I don't know how they got away with it. That is straight up corruption that the whole state witnessed and most people don't care about. They're too distracted by some other political BS that their opinion will never have any bearing on. Whether you're left or right or in the middle, what you think and what I think, you know how much it means? About that much. Can you barely see light through there? Actually, no, it doesn't even mean that much. It means about that much. Our opinions on these matters and our single votes are pretty much irrelevant. Um, activism is one way to change things, but it requires a lot of work and a lot of angry or a lot of motivated people. What I've thought about doing, and I'll never do it, but in theory it sounds great, is I'd like to... Uh, Start collecting ballot signatures, not to overturn Prop 64, but to pass a new law that would highlight just how ridiculous Prop 64 is. I keep saying 64. I'd like to repeal that too and replace it with something else like CCHI. What I meant to say was Prop 65. Um, uh, what we should do is pass a law since they want to say that literally everything might cause cancer so everything needs a label. I want labels on the parking lot. I want a legal requirement in this law that they have to fly planes over every city once a day, towing a little banner or making smoke signs that say, breathing this air could cause cancer or reproductive harm or whatever other BS Prop 65 requires them to say. I want every person entering the state to have to stop at that agricultural checkpoint and be ridden, written, no, not written. Sorry. <laughs> Can you tell I just got up and be read that Prop 65 disclosure and have to sign a paper saying, I agree that by entering the state of California, I acknowledge I may get cancer or reproductive harm. I want every child born in this state 
to be read that same disclaimer. Have it stamped right on their forehead. And since children of, you know, newborn infants can't sign, I want their hands on a handprint on a piece of paper underneath the Prop 65 warning, acknowledging that by being birthed into this world, they are putting themselves at harm of cancer and other reproductive harm. Or whatever other BS that sign says. We should start doing that with a lot of laws. Instead of repeal them, let's make them worse. Let's make them so bad that everybody realizes just how stupid it is until we're ready to lynch our government and uh, replace them with new people. No more Republicans, no more Democrats. If you're voting for either of those parties, you're a sheep. I'm sorry. Hello. Sorry, not today. I'm ranting on a video. Girl Scout cookies. Let's ride the cart. You say I don't need it? Well, a lot of times I don't, and my back does feel good today, but my heel is splitting so bad that it's like on the verge of bleeding. Here we go. So yeah, California's Prop 65. One of the stupidest laws ever. And I don't know what it is, but for some reason today, it really set me off. Okay, so this is the Bombay Beach Drive-In. I was thinking about staying here and playing a movie with my projector on the shores of the Salton Sea. And I might. We'll see. Um, I didn't realize it was so close to people, and my dogs are a little annoying. Either way, it's a cool place to stop and check out, especially with all these other old vehicles. It just seems like my motorhome kind of fits in. This is basically an art project more than a functional theater, but it totally does work as a theater. That's the movie screen right in front of us. Well, they even have a golf cart here. I just spent a week driving a golf cart. Here's the movie car. I guess some of this is like Burning Man leftover art car stuff. Either way, pretty cool setup they got here. Look, another golf cart. A nice old one. I like that. Okay, let's take some photos and uh, get out of here.